Hi, my name is Gary Spingarn, and I'm a marketing engineer for Hamamatsu's mid-infrared products. Today, I'm going to explain our NASB technology that is integrated into our detectors, uh, light sources, and LEDs. Uh, so why the mid-infrared? What is it, and why is it important? Uh, the mid-infrared region, for our purposes, is 3 micron and longer. Uh, why is it important? You see a lot of unique interactions with molecules uh, once you go out farther than 3 micron. Higher energy light kind of tends to blow over the molecules and overwhelm them. But once you go into the longer wavelengths, you get very unique interactions. Hence, the fingerprint region. You get you know, more absorbance and you get less interference. And that leads to a more powerful measurement for your application. On display at Photonics West 2020 at booth 1227, we have a variety of NASB detectors and LEDs. Uh, one of which is the P12691-201G. Uh, this detector is optimized for measurements from 5.5 micron to 7.5 micron, but has sensitivity from 4 to 8 micron. Along with that, we have the P11120, which is specialized for 4 to 5 micron measurements. Uh, the standard cooling element in these detectors is a 2TEC, but we can add more elements if necessary for your application. We have a very interesting development in the P13894-011CM. This is a ceramic package detector that has sensitivity from 3 to 10 micron. Uh, it comes with a huge cost benefit due to the new package. But if you need more cooling for your application, uh, i.e. a higher D-star, we have that available as well. Uh, this is the first ceramic package 10 micron detector to ever hit the market. In another development, Hamamatsu has just released a Type 2 SuperLAS detector, the P15409. This detector has sensitivity from 3 all the way to 14 micron. This is the farthest extension of sensitivity for an NASB detector ever. Uh, it does require liquid nitrogen cooling, but it is extremely sensitive and is just as reliable as any other NASB detector. Now I'm going to talk about one of our flagship products, which is the P13243 series. Uh, one of the more popular choices is the low-cost ceramic package, which at this year's show, we will be giving away 100 free detectors every day for every visitor that comes to the infrared booth with an infrared application. Uh, one option to accompany these detectors are our new filters uh, for 3.3, 3.9, and 4.3 micron. If those numbers sound familiar, those can serve as a methane filter, a reference filter, and a carbon dioxide filter. We also have available a dual stage detector, which t puts two elements together, one serving as measurement and one serving as uh, reference, which can make for a much more accurate measurement. If you need to add stages of cooling to this detector, that's available as well. Uh, why 3 to 5 micron? As I stated before, it's an extremely popular measurement region for light hydrocarbons, methane, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide. So enough about detectors. I like to talk about our LEDs for a second. So typically in the infrared region you're constrained to thermal sources or even a QCL. The LED can be an extremely cost-effective solution. Uh, we have three LEDs available, one for methane 3.3, one for reference at 3.9, and another LED for CO2. And if you recall from earlier, these match up perfectly with the filters that we have available. Why choose an LED? They're very low power consumption, they have very long light times, and they have a very high output at that center wavelength. We also have different packages available in can and ceramic package, which can offer even more cost-benefit solutions. So with me today, I have a real live gas cell measuring CO2 as we speak, integrating the dual stage detector and this carbon dioxide LED I mentioned prior. And it's so sensitive, all I need to do is breathe onto the gas cell and we can see the concentration change in real time. There you have it. I breathe into the cell, the level of CO2 rises, more CO2 molecules absorb the light from the LED, and we see the results. Please come visit us at Photonics West booth 1227, where you can see me and learn more about Hamamatsu's IR detectors and light sources.